Busasa auction is off to a good start. Bidding for the controversial company's assets kicked off this morning. Up for grabs, the company's smart city campus worth around 20 million rand, a fleet of vehicles and office furniture. Liquidators put the assets in auction to pay off the controversial company's debt. The sale is going ahead despite the Watson family's attempts to declare it illegal. Govan Whittles is following the story for us. He joins us now. So lots of people excited about this auction, Govan. How's it going? A lot of people showed up and it uh, was certainly unexpected at the actual site, the smart city. That's because um, because of the high number of people that came through. They just pushed the price up on everything. And you'd find a Toyota Yaris with about 230,000 kilometers on the clock still selling for close to 100,000 rand. And these are not auction prices. And when it comes to Gavin Watson's vehicles, the BMW X5, that sold for... 595,000 rand, almost 600,000 rand, you'd get it for the same price used at a dealership. And his Porsche Cayenne sold for about half a million rand. The buyer says he believes it's worth a million rand, so that's one of the bargains that was struck there. But overall, it seemed people were expecting lower prices, and they didn't get them because of what they called auction fever. I spoke to one of the directors of uh, Park Village Auctioneers about why he thinks the prices were pushed up and bidding was so intensive. Let's have a look at what he said. I bought the Porsche Cayenne, the one that belonged to Gavin. How much did you pay? That was 500,000 rand. People are crazy. I see people offering more money for a second and car than to buy new. Well, I came here for a good price and also thinking that uh, the money has been wasted and that's how one way to recover the money. So what's the Watson family saying? They said that they were considering launching the urgent interdict to stop the auction. As far as we know, that interdict um, has not been heard or launched yet. But the auction, auction uh, will take place over three days. Uh, today was the vehicles and the furniture. Tomorrow they'll sell the buildings, the Lindella Repatriation Center, as well as the Smart City Campus. Two of those valued at over 20 million rand, as well as this copper smelting area. And then on Friday, the super high-tech stuff, the security stuff that uh, was used at the Posasa campus by uh, African Global Operations. How much money are they actually uh, hoping to make here? About 65 million rand. That's how much everything is worth. But if you judge by what happened today, I think they'll be closer to 70. Wow. And uh, of course, the uh, auctioneers get a 10% commission. You make any bids? I can't afford anything. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for that. Appreciate it. That's a Govan which.